afternoon parents, family members, and staff, and whoever else is here. I'm just coming on here to explain how you would um, create an account or fill out the online application for Beacon. So this is best to use a computer. Um, if you do not have a computer, you can still use a cell phone or an iPad or whatever other device you have. But this is best on the computer so that way you can see everything, like the whole screen. So here to my left, well I'm sorry, so first you'll go to discover dycd.dycdconnect.nyc. The link will also be in the chat as well as a part of the PowerPoint. So you're going to go to your upper right hand corner and press sign in. Even if you do not have an account, this is how you create an account. So you're going to press, you're going to click on sign in and then to create an account, you will press create an account. Now I'm going to put in my email address. I'm going to confirm my email address. I'm going to create a password. I'm going to put my first name and last name and then I'm going to do a security question they have a few of them here and I'm just going to put and then it says check the box to indicate that you understand and agree to all the DYC ID terms of use the overall terms of use for NYC.gov and the privacy policy for NYC.gov so I'm going to press the checkbox and create an account. So now that I have my account, they sent me a confirmation email. So I'm going to go into my email and I'm going to go confirm that account. You can go back to the link discover.dycd I'm going to press sign in and I'm just gonna put my credentials in it's already here so I'm just going to press log in okay so up top where it says keyword search you should put New York Edge so I'm just gonna click that out so that way you can see so I'm gonna press I'm gonna type in new York Edge and it should pop up I'm going to press search and you can also um, add in the zip code to our school which is 11428 so I'm just going to oh and also we're in Queens this is optional you do not have to put all of that down but it is optional so if you go search where it's like over here near like Lake Success Floral Park, right here, I'm gonna click on it. It's Beacon Genuancy Intermediate Middle School. I'm gonna press add to list. And then it's gonna ask me if I wanna go back to um, the dashboard. I'm gonna click dashboard. So now it should say your applicants right here. I have no applicants. Your applicant is your child or your or the child that you're trying to put the application in for. So you'll press add applicant. Um I'm just going to add I'm going to add myself, but I'm going to say it's my child. So I'm going to put my child their first name. I'm going to put I don't know. Johnny 
Johnny Smith. His date of birth. Um, you'll put their date of birth. So I'm gonna put twelve. Um, twelve. 2007 so my child is 12 years old and we'll say he's a male and we're gonna create applicant okay now it's gonna ask you to it says applicant has been created click search to add programs for Johnny Smith and start an application so I'm gonna press search programs again by the near the floral floral park floral park area um you'll click on Jean Nunsi Intermediate School and we're just going to add to the list and then now it's say it's asking um you know if I want to apply Johnny and I will apply Johnny now it's asking me to go back to my dashboard and start the application so I'm going to add my phone number and I'm going to submit it and then now it goes through different steps, um, different questions asking about Johnny or your child. It's ask, it asks um, a few different questions up until you get to step six um, and then after that you will submit. So that is how you create an account or I'm sorry complete an application for your child. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for listening.